2016 is drawing to a close, and I know Harambe memes are long dead, but don't put your dick away just yet. I might need you to fuck a gorilla. A horse fucks a donkey and you get a mule. A horse fucks a zebra and you get a zorse. So a human fucks a gorilla or a chimp, what do you get? As it turns out, we don't know, and that kind of bothers me a lot. I don't know what it is about this that bothers me. It's something I've never thought about before, but now that it's in my brain, it's, it, I, I hate that we don't know this. And it's not that like I get excited about the idea of someone fucking a gorilla or something like that. It's if it did make some kind of crazy hybrid animal, I want to fucking look at it. I want to see what it looks like. I want to see what it does, how it lives, you know? Like, we should- this is 2016, we should know what happens when you fuck a gorilla. And I understand why we haven't had that many experiments on this, because it's highly, highly unethical. I mean, first off, it's animal abuse to, like, have a fucking gorilla chained up to either a fuck or inseminate and find out what happens. That's just cruel, you don't want to do that. And then, say you did accomplish that, the life of the offspring would be a terrible fucking life. I mean... If we got past the point where it was a living science experiment, there's a good chance that it would be either too stupid to function in the human world, or too weak to function in the gorilla world, you know, there's just no way for it. Unless, unless, what if the offspring of a human and a gorilla was as smart as a human and as strong as a gorilla? You'd be fucking unstoppable. This is how Planet of the Apes gets started, because we just had to know what the fuck happens when a human fucks a gorilla. And as crazy as this all sounds, and you know I'm not one for the crazy theories and whatnot, but as crazy as this all fucking sounds, there's some evidence that indicates that it might actually be a thing that's possible. There's actually been a number of experiments, not a lot, but you know, in some like more unethical times and places, there are some experiments done with this, as you might expect human curiosity might take us to do. In the 20s, there was a Soviet scientist by the name of Ilya Ivanovich Ivanov, or Ivanov, I don't know how, I don't know how uh, Russian pronunciation goes, so please correct me. The first thing this guy did was an experiment where he tried to have male humans impregnate female orangutans, and it did not work out, a failed experiment, but then he decided he was going to try it the other way around. And he had a bunch of women lined up to potentially get pregnant with orangutan babies, except what happened was his last male orangutan died, and by the time he got around to like whatever would have been an experiment. The Soviet government exiled him to fucking Kazakhstan, and that was the end of him. Now, in the 60s, you have a Chinese scientist by the name of Ji Yangzhang, whose name, once again, I'm not sure if I'm fucking butchering it or not, but he claimed that him and his team of scientists had successfully impregnated a chimp with a human baby. And what wound up happening was all the scientists got taken away during the Cultural Revolution. They got sent to farm labor. This, the experiment was never completed, and the chimp died due to just fucking neglect. No one's gonna take a fuck, take care of a fucking chimp in those situations. So now we got two failed experiments. Now, in 1977, we have a scientist by the name of J. Michael Bedford, and he found out that human sperm could penetrate the, uh, the outer layer of a gibbon egg. Now, that doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, it could turn to a full pregnancy, but it's evidence in the direction that this is in the realm of possibility. So there you go. I figured that when I was starting this video off, doing my research and whatnot, that this would be, uh, you know, a funny thing to talk about, and obviously we would have known the answer by now. If it's possible to have a human slash chimpanzee, gorilla, uh, you know, orangutan hybrid, but apparently the jury is fucking out and we don't know yet. For all we know, there could be humanzies walking around among us right now where none the fucking wiser. So please, if any of you guys have ever fucked a gorilla, if you have any evidence that humanzies are real, share your story in the comments section. Otherwise, subscribe so we can, you know, like, we can be in touch as this news story develops. Until next time. Oh, and someone found my fucking sign very offensive. You know, they don't like profanity on YouTube. So I was told this was unprofessional of me. But I don't care. It's YouTube. I don't give a fuck about professional. So until next time, everybody get fucked.